Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about DevOps. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do DevOps engineers make so much more than regular software engineers? Are their day-to-day -day responsibilities that complex? Yes. Yes, they, they are. The thing is that for most people, the DevOps uh, dream is, uh, I, honest, honest to God, I will say that if the internet has told you that being a software engineer, a regular old uh, dirty application developer is easy or that there's a misalignment in how hard it actually is versus what we're tell saying how easy and like how straightforward it is, the gap is even bigger in DevOps in anything operations related. You see, the dream is that you're all using Kubernetes and auto-scaling and that you have um, service meshes and microservices and all this stuff that everybody says that you're supposed to be doing. The reality is that you have a clusterfuck of problems in practically every company and that the, well, the poor DevOps engineers, they are in a constant battle to stabilize the system because things are breaking access control access rights or especially if you're in a high security environment where you have like controlled workloads or stuff like that where like you are in a constant support battle i have to this day never been involved in any company or any project where there wasn't at least one full-time operations person depending on how you call what you call devops of course because the loose like people use DevOps a little bit as an ambiguous term but for the most part you can bet that there's at least one DevOps engineer ops person on hand at, at practically all hours and the reason is very simple because if uh, the the easiest way for you to lose money in any IT company is not through a bug usually it is through operations if well technically a bug can cause the outage of course but the people who are ultimately responsible for the health of the system at the highest level is going to be the devops engineers or the operations people depending on what you have and so if something goes wrong uh, usually especially if as i was saying if you're in a controlled environment they're the only people who have direct access to the production environments which means that if if something does go wrong on outside of office hours or whenever basically they're gonna have to be pinged because they are the only people who can resolve the the issue now the reason why we are moving towards DevOps is to get closer to bridge that gap between the old throw things over the wall to the operations people and try to move towards having DevOps engineers embedded in the team so that the slogan that we all like to talk about which is you develop it you own it or well, you uh, you uh, you uh, you uh, you ship it, you maintain it. Like there are a few flavors of this, but the basic idea is that uh, the problem with having the old structure, the the traditional structure between ops and engineering, is that uh, the ops people use very rarely have the ability to fix the issue because it's they don't have the domain knowledge to fix the problem that the application developers have introduced into the system. Like they they have cre created a bug or whatever, and they are really the only people who can fix it. But if you have a DevOps engineer, the idea is that they should be closer to the team and therefore be able to resolve the issue in some fashion. This is it's endlessly complicated. I will even go as far as to say that I don't think anybody has solved this in an effective manner. It is a right now an ongoing experiment. It's an ongoing. Uh, I think the entire industry is trying to figure out how to do this effectively. Now, I mean, of course, the, there are some outliers that are further ahead than other companies, uh, and there are a lot of tools, and I don't think, uh, honestly, I don't think there is anything, if we're talking about just mainstream application development, if we like, kind of ignore machine learning and these more advanced concepts, that is as in demand right now as people who claim to have a solution to this sort of problem because if as I was saying if you could solve this problem it is the fastest and most secure way for you to raise the quality of your entire company the problem is that it is enormously complicated and this is why DevOps engineers are 
I cannot imagine if we're talking about subgroups of engineers. I mean, if you're a software developer, you're basically human gold. But if you are a DevOps engineer, if you are a software engineer and you have operation skills and so forth, and you really know this stuff, although you might not be in as high demand in all, because the thing is you don't need as many DevOps engineers as you need software developers, but the value of the work that you do is, oof, uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm only human. I can't make that equation. But the the having a good DevOps engineer, the difference. I. It's. I don't want to talk about how much of a difference that can make. You can literally just by having one single the single one single correct person in that space uh, save like. I say I don't know how many thousands of dollars every single month because they simply know enough about how to uh, set things up and in terms of. You, the developer productivity in, in terms of fixing like uh, 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 pricing models for the cloud solutions and all this stuff that comes with that sort of responsibility and like reducing quality uh, quality issues and so forth that is the sphere of what they have to do and therefore I really do believe that uh, I the DevOps engineer a good one ha it it because their responsibility is so in many cases more uh, impactful than that of an average application developer they do earn more on average and they do they deserve to uh, to earn more because uh, if we just talk about the on call thing just the fact that uh, if you have a devops engineer well technically that should mean that you as the application developer should not necessarily have to be on call as much as the person who's the the ops person and just being on call flat should earn you a bigger paycheck than if you're not on call. So what I want you to take away from this is that it is, um, I think it's absolutely true that, uh, and for very good reason, that DevOps engineers earn on average more than the application developers or the other developers for a very simple reason. The on-call factor is a thing and the responsibilities that they have is company spanning. If you fuck up your infrastructure, your company is dead in the water. Like the, there, like doesn't matter what the application developers do because they, they, this is the final line. This is the thing that runs everything. It's the lowest level of everything you do within an IT company, and so the impact is enormous. Uh, and you really do need people who have a fairly diverse set of skills, and not just diverse skills. They actually have to have res uh, have a responsibility and a experience level that is on average fairly I'm not saying high high but what they do if they do it right they can make or break the entire company they can slow down everything or they can speed things up and in many cases uh, this is where the, one of the biggest challenges for a lot of IT companies lie on the flip side, I want you to just, before you now go and start googling how do I become a DevOps and you, know, you should also know that this is the gutters this is the this is the 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 pile of manure. This is the pile of horseshit for having a sustainable lifestyle for most developers. If you want to have a lot of sleepless nights, be on call and practically on round the clock, deal with incoming fires that is just coming every single moment, basically, and and have to deal with an endless stream of bullshit of and issues. This is where you want to be. It's fun and engaging if you really like the space and you really like to work with this sort of stuff. But you should know that the the idea that Google is selling and like a lot of companies are saying that oh we have this whole thing figured out is absolute bullshit for the most of, most of the companies out there. Most companies have a fairly error prone delivery process and being a DevOps engineer. It, it, it's really at this point uh, so early that most companies are just trying to figure out how are we going to do this and as the DevOps engineer or the ops person you have to you have to basically deal with all of the limitations of that company and if you want to do that go for it but you should know that that higher paycheck comes with more hair loss and a lot of you, you you're gonna get older quicker i promise you that much have a great day